Section number eight of the Holy Scriptures according to the Masoretic Text, a new translation, Judges. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Matt Benzing, Oxford, Ohio. Judges. Battle of Gibeah, a war between Benjamin and the other tribes. Chapters 19 to 21. Chapter 19. And it came to pass in those days, when there was no king in Israel, that there was a certain Levite sojourning on the farther side of the hill country of Ephraim, who took to him a concubine out of Bethlehem in Judah. And his concubine played the harlot against him, and went away from him unto her father's house to Bethlehem in Judah and was there the space of four months. And her husband arose, and went after her, to speak kindly unto her, to bring her back, having his servant with him, and a couple asses, and she brought him into her father's house. And when the father of the damsel saw him, he rejoiced to meet him, and his father-in-law, the damsel's father, retained him, and he abode with him three days, so they did eat and drink, and lodged there. And it came to pass on the fourth day that they arose early in the morning, and he rose up to depart. And the damsel's father said unto his son-in-law, Stay thy heart with a morsel of bread, and afterward ye shall go your way. So they sat down, and did eat and drink, both of them together. And the damsel's father said unto the man, Be content, I pray thee, and tarry all night, and let thy heart be merry. And the man rose up to depart. But his father-in-law urged him, and he lodged there again. And he arose early in the morning on the fifth day to depart. And the damsel's father said, Stay thy heart, I pray thee, and tarry ye, until the day declineth. And they did eat, both of them. And when the man rose up to depart, he and his concubine and his servant his father-in-law, the damsel's father, said unto him, Behold, now the day draweth toward evening. Tarry, I pray you, all night. Behold, the day groweth to an end. Lodge here, that thy heart may be merry, and to-morrow get you early on your way, that thou mayest go home. But the man would not tarry that night, but he rose up and departed, and came over against Jebus, the same is Jerusalem. And there were with him a couple asses saddled. His concubine also was with him. When they were by Jebus, the day was far spent, the servant said unto his master, Come, I pray thee, and let us turn aside into this city of the Jebusites, and lodge in it. And his master said unto him, We will not turn aside into the city of a foreigner that is not of the children of Israel, but we will pass over to Gibeah. And he said unto his servant, Come, and let us draw near to one of these places, and we will lodge in Gibeah or in Ramah. So they passed on, and went their way. And the sun went down upon them near to Gibeah, which belongeth to Benjamin. And they turned aside thither, to go in to lodge in Gibeah. And he went in, and sat him down in the broad place of the city. For there was no man that took them into his house to lodge. And behold, there came an old man from his work out of the field at even. Now the man was of the hill country of Ephraim, and he sojourned in Gibeah, but the men of the place were Benjamites. And he lifted up his eyes, and saw the wayfaring man in the broad place of the city. And the old man said, Whither goest thou, and whence comest thou? And he said unto him, We are passing from Bethlehem in Judah unto the farther side of the hill country of Ephraim. From thence am I, and I went to Bethlehem in Judah, and I am now going to the house of the Lord, and there is no man that taketh me into his house. Yet there is both straw and provender for our asses, and there is bread and wine also for me, and for thy handmaid, and for the young man that is with thy servants. There is no want of anything. And the old man said, 
peace be unto thee howsoever let all thy wants lie upon me only lodge not in the broad place so he brought him into his house and gave the asses fodder and they washed their feet and did eat and drink as they were making their hearts merry behold the men of the city certain base fellows beset the house round about beating at the door and they spoke to the master of the house the old man saying bring forth the man that came into thy house that we may know him and the man the master of the house went out unto them and said unto them nay my brethren i pray you do not so wickedly seeing that this man is come into my house do not this wanton deed behold here is my daughter a virgin and his concubine i will bring them out now and humble ye them and do with them what seemeth good unto you but unto this man do not so wanton a thing but the men would not hearken to him so the man laid hold on his concubine and brought her forth unto them and they knew her and abused her all the night until the morning and when the day began to spring they let her go then came the woman in the dawning of the day and fell down at the door of the man's house where her lord was till it was light and her lord rose up in the morning and opened the doors of the house and went out to go his way and behold the woman his concubine was fallen down at the door of the house with her hands upon the threshold and he said unto her up and let us be going but none answered then he took her up upon the ass and the man rose up and got him unto his place and when he was come into his house he took a knife and laid hold on his concubine and divided her limb by limb into twelve pieces and sent her throughout all the borders of israel and it was so that all that saw it said such a thing hath not happened nor been seen from the day that the children of israel came up out of the land of egypt unto this day consider it take counsel and speak chapter twenty then all the children of israel went out and the congregation was assembled as one man from dan even to beersheba with the land of gilead unto the lord at mizpah and the chiefs of all the people even of all the tribes of israel presented themselves in the assembly of the people of god four hundred thousand footmen that drew sword now the children of benjamin heard that the children of israel were gone up to mizpah and the children of israel said tell us how was this wickedness brought to pass and the levite the husband of the woman that was murdered answered and said i came into gibeah that belongeth to benjamin i and my concubine to lodge and the men of gibeah rose against me and beset the house round about me by night me they thought to have slain and my concubine they forced and she is dead and i took my concubine and cut her in pieces and sent her throughout all the country of the inheritance of israel for they have committed lewdness and wantonness in israel behold ye are all here children of israel give here your advice and counsel and all the people arose as one man saying we will not any of us go to his tent neither will we any of us turn unto his house but now this is the thing which we will do to gibeah we will go up against it by lot and we will take ten men of a hundred throughout all the tribes of israel and a hundred of a thousand and a thousand out of ten thousand to fetch victuals for the people that they may do when they come to gibeah of benjamin according to all the wantonness that they have wrought in israel 
so all the men of israel were gathered against the city knit together as one man and the tribes of israel sent men through all the tribe of benjamin saying what wickedness is this that is come to pass among you now therefore deliver up the men the base fellows that are in gibeah that we may put them to death and put away evil from israel but the children of benjamin would not hearken to the voice of their brethren the children of israel and the children of benjamin gathered themselves together out of their cities unto gibeah to go out to battle against the children of israel and the children of benjamin numbered on that day out of the cities twenty and six thousand men that drew sword besides the inhabitants of gibeah who numbered seven hundred chosen men all this people even seven hundred chosen men were left-handed every one could sling stones at a hairbreadth and not miss and the men of israel beside benjamin numbered four hundred thousand men that drew sword all these were men of war and the children of israel arose and went up to bethel and asked counsel of god and they said who shall go up for us first to battle against the children of benjamin and the lord said judah first and the children of israel rose up in the morning and encamped against gibeah and the men of israel went out to battle against benjamin and the men of israel set the battle in array against them at gibeah and the children of benjamin came forth out of gibeah and destroyed down to the ground of the israelites on that day twenty and two thousand men and the people the men of israel encouraged themselves and set the battle again in array in the place where they set themselves in array the first day and the children of israel went up and wept before the lord until even and they asked of the lord saying shall i again draw nigh to battle against the children of benjamin my brother and the lord said go up against him and the children of israel came near against the children of benjamin the second day and benjamin went forth against them out of gibeah the second day and destroyed down to the ground of the children of israel again eighteen thousand men all these drew the sword then all the children of israel and all the people went up and came unto bethel and wept and sat there before the lord and fasted that day until even and they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the lord and the children of israel asked of the lord for the ark of the covenant of god was there in those days and phineas the son of eleazar the son of aaron stood before it in those days saying shall i yet again go out to battle against the children of benjamin my brother or shall i cease and the lord said go up for tomorrow i will deliver him into thy hand and israel set liars in wait against gibeah round about and the children of israel went up against the children of benjamin on the third day and set themselves in array against gibeah as at other times and the children of benjamin went out against the people and were drawn away from the city and they began to smite and kill of the people as at other times in the field in the highways of which one goeth up to bethel and the other to gibeah about thirty men of israel and the children of benjamin said they are smitten down before us as at the first but the children of israel said let us flee and draw them away from the city unto the highways and all the men of israel rose up out of their place and set themselves in array at baal tamar and the liars in wait of israel broke forth out of their place even out of mer geba and there came over against gibeah ten thousand chosen men out of all israel and the battle was sore but they knew not that evil was close upon them and the lord smote benjamin before israel 
and the children of Israel destroyed of Benjamin that day twenty and five thousand and a hundred men. All these drew the sword. So the children of Benjamin saw that they were smitten, and the men of Israel gave place to Benjamin, because they trusted unto the liars in wait whom they had set against Gibeah. And the liars in wait hastened and rushed upon Gibeah, and the liars in wait drew forth and smote all the city with the edge of the sword. Now there was an appointed sign between the men of Israel and the liars in wait that they should make a great beacon of smoke rise up out of the city. And the men of Israel turned in the battle, and Benjamin began to smite and kill of the men of Israel about thirty persons. For they said, Surely they are smitten down before us, as in the first battle. But when the beacon began to arise up out of the city in a pillar of smoke, the Benjamites looked behind them, and behold, the whole of the city went up in smoke to heaven. And the men of Israel turned, and the men of Benjamin were amazed, for they saw that evil was come upon them. Therefore they turned their backs before the men of Israel unto the way of the wilderness, but the battle followed hard after them. And they that came out of the city destroyed them in the midst of the men of Israel. They enclosed the Benjamites round about, and chased them, and overtook them at their resting place, as far as over against Gibeah toward the sunrising. And there fell of Benjamin eighteen thousand men. All these were men of valor. And they turned and fled toward the wilderness, unto the rock of Reman. And they gleaned of them in the highways five thousand men, and followed hard after them unto Gidom, and smote of them two thousand men. So that all who fell that day of Benjamin were twenty and five thousand men that drew the sword. All these were men of valor. But six hundred men turned and fled toward the wilderness unto the rock of Rimmon, and abode in the rock of Rimmon four months. And the men of Israel turned back upon the children of Benjamin, and smote them with the edge of the sword, both the entire city, and the cattle, and all that they found. Moreover, all the cities which they found, they set on fire. Chapter 21 now the men of Israel had sworn in Mizpah, saying, There shall not any of us give his daughter unto Benjamin to wife. And the people came to Bethel, and sat there till even before God, and lifted up their voices, and wept sore. And they said, O Lord, the God of Israel, why is this come to pass in Israel, that there should be today one tribe lacking in Israel? And it came to pass on the morrow that the people rose early, and built there an altar, and offered burnt offerings, and peace offerings. And the children of Israel said, Who is there among all the tribes of Israel that came not up in the assembly unto the Lord? For they had made a great oath concerning him that came not up unto the Lord to Mizpah, saying, He shall surely be put to death. And the children of Israel repented them for Benjamin their brother, and said, There is one tribe cut off from Israel this day. How shall we do for wives for them that remain, seeing we have sworn by the Lord that we will not give them of our daughters to wives? And they said, What one is there of the tribes of Israel that came not up unto the Lord to Mizpah? And behold, there came none to the camp, from Jabesh-Gilead to the assembly. For when the people were numbered, behold, there were none of the inhabitants of Jabesh-Gilead there. And the congregation sent thither twelve thousand men of the valiantest, and commanded them, saying, Go and smite the inhabitants of Jabesh-Gilead with the edge of the sword, with the women and the little ones. And this is the thing ye shall do. Ye shall utterly destroy every male, and every woman that hath lain by man. And they found among the inhabitants of Jabesh-Gilead four hundred young virgins, that had not known man by lying with him, 
and they brought them unto the camp to Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. And the whole congregation sent and spoke to the children of Benjamin that were in the rock of Rimmon, and proclaimed peace unto them. And Benjamin returned at that time, and they gave them the women whom they had saved alive of the women of Jabesh-Gilead, and so they sufficed them not. And the people repented them for Benjamin, because that the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. Then the elders of the congregation said, How shall we do for wives for them that remain, seeing the women are destroyed out of Benjamin? And they said, They that are escaped must be as an inheritance for Benjamin, that a tribe be not blotted out from Israel. Howbeit we may not give them wives of our daughters. For the children of Israel had sworn, saying, Cursed be he that giveth a wife to Benjamin. And they said, Behold, there is the feast of the Lord from year to year in Shiloh, which is on the north of Bethel, on the east side of the highway that goeth up from Bethel to Shechem, and on the south of Lebanon. And they commanded the children of Benjamin, saying, Go and lie in wait in the vineyards, and see, and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in the dances, then come ye out of the vineyards, and catch you every man his wife of the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. And it shall be, when their fathers or their brethren come to strive with us, that we will say unto them, Grant them graciously unto us, because we took not for each man of them his wife in battle, neither did ye give them unto them, that ye should now be guilty. Grant them graciously unto us, because we took not for each man of them his wife in battle, neither did ye give them unto them, that ye should now be guilty. And the children of Benjamin did so, and took them wives, according to their number of them that danced, whom they carried off. And they went and returned unto their inheritance, and built the cities, and dwelt in them. And the children of Israel departed thence at that time, every man to his tribe and to his family, and they went out from thence every man to his inheritance. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. End of Judges chapter 21 Recording by Matt Benzing, Oxford, Ohio End of the Holy Scriptures according to the Masoretic Text, A New Translation, Judges published by the Jewish Publication Society of America.